Josh Camper, St. John Bosco. Josh, huge game for you today against Da Vinci. You hit five threes in this one and really set the pace for your team. What was the key for this big win tonight? Um, the key was just to play hard, play with energy, and just play together. That's the biggest thing for us. I believe this game brings you to 14-1 and one on the season. You're off to a really great start. What's allowed you to start so successfully as a team? Um, like I said earlier, we play together, and nobody's selfish on our team. If somebody's hot, they get the ball. And if someone has a mismatch, we give it to them. That's basically it. Bosco has a ton of depth this year. You're playing not just five or six like some teams do. We're seeing 10, 11 guys get on the court. How helpful is that for a long season? You guys have very high expectations. Well, that's very helpful for us because everyone plays as hard as they can all the time. And when everyone plays that hard, we need somebody that can help us. Like Just the depth just helps us play as hard as we can because we know our teammates are going to have our back. Jonathan Salazar, one of your top guys, has been out for a couple games now with an injury. How have you been able to overcome his loss? Um, we've been able to overcome it because he's been there, like, supporting yeah, us. Yeah, he's been like, clapping and he's been yeah. all happy. When he was, when he's there and he's, like, helping us, like, hey, do this, do that, and he's being a very great leader right now, I think that's what's helping us get through it because when I really – we miss him, but he's helping, he's helping fill the gap with his attitude. Expectations have been sky high for Bosco so far this season. And a lot of the top tens, you're right there, even in the top five, top three at times. Does that put any pressure on you guys? How does that those high rankings and high expectations make you feel? Um, it does put pressure on us, and it does wear on us every now and then. But I believe that we deserve that ranking. And eventually, we're going to prove that we shouldn't just be top ten, top three, top five. We should be top one, and you guys will see that eventually. Coach Matt Dunn has done a really nice job this season, evidenced by your record and just all the guys who get involved. What's your relationship like with him, and how much help has he given you so far this season? You're having a great year, too. Um, he's been very supportive of me. Um, he's always been a great coach for me, helped me through tough times, even on and off the court. And I'm, I'm very thankful for how he's been treating me this year. And I think he is the reason why we win a lot of our games. Very smart guy. Yeah, that's what I would have to say. I don't want you to look too far ahead, but of course, St. John Bosco, our travel modern day, that's the game that's circled on the schedule when you play them in the Trinity League. In the past, everyone talks modern day, modern day, modern day. This year, St. John Bosco has an excellent chance to not only beat modern day, but win the whole Trinity League. And again, I don't want you to get ahead of yourself, but how excited are you for those rivalry games? Um, I'm really excited. Um, last year, we, we came out great in league. We lost. We ended up losing, dropping four in a row. So I believe this year we're going to win league. Like, I really believe that with all my heart. High expectations, clearly. What's it going to take to accomplish these goals, do you think? Playing together and staying humble. I think that's all it takes. And then finally, you're the clear-cut favorites here at the Duan Hurt Sarah Tournament. Coming up, you're going to play the winner of Crenshaw Narbonne, which is going on right now, and then eventually windward most likely in that championship game. What needs to happen to go take care of business, win two more, and get a title? Stay humble and don't take anybody lightly. We have to keep coming and playing as hard as we can all the time.